Maranatha, my TBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, living the word. So uh, last night I had a great conversation with a brother in Christ, and we were talking about the mind and the thought life and how important the thought life is. And I know some people have some confusions over the thought life. It's like, if I think it is a sin, well, obviously uh, the, 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 there's a reprobate man still within there, right, that has some evil thoughts or wicked thoughts, as the case may be. Uh, we know that Jesus knew the mind of the Pharisees, so was it sin when they were thinking the things about Jesus that they were, and he would call them out for it. But really more than that, what I want to talk about is this, all right, is once you entertain those thoughts, they no longer are just a thought, or when you speak those thoughts or act on those thoughts, they're no longer just a thought. And that's where you start to in really engage in that sin activity, in particular, when you start affecting the lives of others. But remember what, the, what Paul, Paul wrote to us in Romans chapter 12, <clears throat> and I'm going to read verses 1 and 2, but I'm going to focus this morning on verse 2. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is a reasonable service. Okay, pause here for one second. So first of all, present your body, this flesh and bone that we have, as a living sacrifice to God. Let it be doing what God would want it to do, the actions that God would want it to do, avoiding the sins of the flesh, if I can put it to you that way. But then listen to what he goes on to say. And be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Our minds are supposed to be renewed too. Our minds are supposed to be changed. In other words, our thought life should be becoming holier the longer we walk with the Lord. We should have less and less of the wicked thoughts we used to entertain or we used to have. So as we grow in the grace and knowledge of our Savior, so should our mind grow as well. So I hope this encourages you all just to remember as, uh, that, that God's got this. But of course, remember that, you're, that, you, that as you grow with the Lord, you're, the way you think and, and how you see situations is going to change too because your mind is going to be transformed by that new man. So I hope this encourages you all. As always, remember that I love you, we love you, God loves you, and God's got this.